Good morning, folks. The sun actually got a bit eruption happy the last day, mostly plasma filaments. We've got a lasting electric effect and risk profile on top science articles to kick off the week, but we are starting with the sun and we find no coronal holes but for a sliver of the southern opening. It's largely a filament show as even the sunspots are mostly on the far side. At least four eruptions, all on the limbs pointed away from our planet. We've got more of those in Earth-facing position waiting to erupt, but for now, let's go to the solar wind and geomagnetic conditions. Solar wind has been elevated to a sustained level of density and plasma speed, providing an increase in plasma pressure and, as we so often see after coronal hole-driven geomagnetic storms, as one fades, the electron flux rises. We have officially entered electron storm status, mostly a concern for ultra-sensitive electronics and GPS unless it goes a bit higher. Easing into the science next, couple articles on cooling trends in the sea. Been noticing more and more of these with nothing but speculation of warming from the modeling crew. As is often the case, the observable reality doesn't match the models and they rush to try to catch up. By the way, the answer to both papers, it's the melted cool fresh water from the poles. For those new here and need the most elementary introduction to solar influence on human health, I'm not sure why it took three professors for this couple page layman's document, and indeed it is the first grade version. The advanced versions are in chapter 6 of the textbook and some of part 3 in the new supplement, but got to admit, this is a pretty good introduction. But on to our top story. Folks, first, we were crazy because Micronova aren't a thing. And then they discovered Micronova are a thing. Then they said our version of recent nearby Nova was too recent, and that they thought the last Nova injection of material into our galactic space was over 2 million years ago. Baby steps in the right direction using calcium and aluminum here. True, if they used the shorter-lived uranium found in the younger driest bone and petrification samples, they'd know it was a 12,000-year cycle, but in one fell swoop, that over 2 million years ago just got cut down to a million to 600,000 years ago. And trust me, they're going to cut it all the way down before it's over. I do hope I'm not dropping this on anyone newly here this morning, but if I am, this magnetic excursion ongoing at Earth right now will have a crescendo of a solar micronova, as happens every 12,000 years, and which will begin the next stage of Earth. We greatly appreciate your support. If your eyes work right now, you know how to learn more. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.